Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Oliver and welcome again to Fat Doctor TV. Today we're going to talk about a very serious issue. Just going to cover a few minutes on this, but get you thinking about uh, the future of our country and even the future of the world uh, as we see our children and the young people uh, having a serious problem with obesity. And you hear it on all the talk shows, it's on the news, um, but I wanted to kind of touch base on this a little bit today just because of some of the things we're seeing in our medical practice on a regular basis. Uh, very common to have uh, seven, eight, nine, ten year old children coming into our office now with diabetes type 2. And uh, these are things that uh, when I started practice 27 years ago, uh, I might have diagnosed an adult with adult onset or type 2 diabetes maybe once a week. And now we're diagnosing six to 10 adults every week and one to two children on a regular basis, on a one to two week basis. So it's extremely uh, epidemic out there. And uh, there's lots of government talk about what to do with school lunches, uh, what to do with vending machines, things like that. But the truth of the matter is, is we know that it is a national crisis. Um, statistically, we're seeing children and adolescent obesity growing by almost 1% per year. And that is a staggering number, millions of children. Um, here in our state of Indiana, uh, we're now uh, at about 19 to almost 20 percent obese children. Um, and that's growing again by at least 1 percent per year. Lots of states, it may be growing a little more. There are some states, fortunately, where it's growing slower. But nationwide, we're seeing uh, the rate of childhood obesity going up dramatically. What does this really mean for these children? Uh, well, the obvious thing is that uh, they're probably not treated very nicely by other kids. Uh, we all know that when we were children, we were always looking for the flaws or the person who didn't fit in. Maybe it was even us that was ridiculed by other kids. And we all know that kids can be pretty cruel. And so if you have a child who weighs 50, 60, 70, maybe 100 pounds overweight when they're in first, second, third, fourth, fifth grade, uh, they're certainly being uh, verbally uh, and emotionally abused by other kids. Uh, we also know that uh, it's physically tough for them. They can't run and play and be in the sports uh, uh, like uh, they would want to be. Uh, they, they really have difficulty emotionally. More importantly, too, they have trouble physically. Uh, these children are going to grow up to have uh, a high risk of heart disease when they're in their 20s and 30s. They're going to have arthritis prematurely in their 30s and 40s. Uh, they're going to have all kinds of organ disease, fatty liver, pancreatitis, uh, the high risk of early stroke, early heart attack, and premature death. Uh, so these things are going to haunt them throughout their shortened lives. Uh, what can we do? Well, obviously it's tough to go up to a kid and say, hey, you need to lose weight. So we don't want to do that. What we want to do is really focus on uh, parents and 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 sometimes I think what happens is uh, yeah we want to we want to treat our kids very nice we want to give them the snacks and the food rewards and those kind of things but that's really the wrong message we're sending to them the most important thing we can do as parents or adults is to eat and live healthy lives ourselves to set the example I have uh, children who come into my office that are 50 to 100 pounds overweight uh, before they're 15 years old and typically the parents are both overweight and the food that's being purchased is a lot of uh, high carbohydrate, high calorie sweets and snacks and, and junk food and sodas. The other, the other problem is that these kids just aren't getting the exercise or the activity. Um, no question that children spend a lot of time in front of the video games or uh, uh, even in front of the television hour after hour after hour and uh, it's, it's imperative that the parents start a, a physical activity program not only for themselves but for children. The key thing is here is you can't tell a child don't do this, eat this food, uh, go get some exercise unless you yourself are doing it. So this message is really going out to all us parents and yes I'm a parent too. Uh, hey, was I a great parent? No, I made lots of mistakes. We all do. That's normal. That's part of being a parent. But the most important thing is that you first recognize the fact that your child may have a problem with being overweight or being obese. How do we guide that? Well, ask your doctor, ask your health care provider, or go online and look at what's called the BMI, Body Mass Index. If your child is between 85% and 94 percentile in the BMI, they're overweight. If they're above that 95th percentile, they're obese. And that's a very easy calculation. If you have questions or problems about it, you don't understand it, 
send us a message here, a comment, an email at FatDoctorTV, and we'll let you know if your child is having some issues with either being overweight or fat. It's interesting because I see a lot of obese parents look at their children who are overweight or obese and just don't, either they don't want to accept the fact that their child's obese or maybe they just don't see it because they themselves have always had a problem. But for the sake of your child, take a look at their height, take a look at their weight, uh, talk to your doctor, talk to your healthcare provider, send us a, an email here, we'll be glad to discuss it with you because we really need to work hard on setting the example. So uh, whatever program you're on, whatever uh, eating pattern you're on, whatever exercise pattern you're on, or if you're not on one, get on one and, and demonstrate first to your child that, hey, this is the way we're going to start living our lives. And then get your child involved with you on that. Children love to do things with their parents, so uh, that'll be a project the whole family can undertake. Um, so we wanted to cover a little bit of this today and just kind of appeal to everybody out there that, that uh, this is becoming a very serious problem. One thing you might want to look at, uh, if your child is overweight and, and they have a, a, a darkish thick rash around their neck or under their arms or their skin is turning dark in certain areas, uh, that's a warning sign that they may have a genetic issue uh, or predisposition to diabetes. If they're developing small skin tags around the neck, little skin growths that occur, that's another warning sign. And, and, and if you see that, get to your doctor right away because it's just mandatory uh, that these children get on a healthy medical program uh, to work with them. They may need uh, specialists, they may need dietitians, they may need uh, special children's services to really help out because this is something that is tough for parents to be able to manage sometimes. So if you see any of the warning signs, uh, uh, like I said, if they're huffing and puffing when they're uh, walking or climbing stairs, any of these kind of issues, or if you just say, you know, gosh, I'm a little concerned, my child seems to be overweight, it's okay to ask your doctor. Uh, we do see kids, there are times when kids are chubby, uh, baby fat, things like that. And a lot of times when they're very small, that's a normal thing. Right before puberty, it's not unusual for them to pick up some weight and some fat. That's not abnormal. A lot of times they'll grow right into that as their hormones kick in. So this is something you want to ask your healthcare professional about. Get that advice from your doctor, and we're here to help in any way we can. So th the message I want you to get today from this uh, childhood obesity talk is this. Do a little study. Do a little research. Go out on the internet, find out what's going on, find out what's happening in your community. Get some assistance if your child is having trouble with the foods they're eating, if they're gaining weight rapidly, if they seem to be larger or heavier than the other kids in their class, then take action. Don't sit on this, don't wait till they're adults. Uh, get, take action right now and you'll be really glad that uh, not only you but your children uh, are developing healthier habits and dropping that weight and getting leaner because you'll live a happier longer life and uh, we're on your side here so any questions we'd love to hear from you I want you to have a great day give some serious thought to this and uh, take some action if this is a problem in your family I look forward to talking to you again on Fat Doctor TV have a great day and remember next time I see you I uh, hope to see less of you. We'll just all work together in this, uh, in this aspect. Take care. Have a great day.